Welcome back uh, everyone in this uh, video series where we're uh, trying to get uh, familiar with the uh, Alan Bradley um, PLC software, the uh, Studio 5000 uh, or as it has been known uh, for many years, Aris Logics 5000. So in this uh, quick video we're gonna touch up on the uh, some other core uh, instruction in the ladder logic diagram and this time I'm going to look at the moving function and the logical functions as well. So uh, first thing I'm going to do here is add a rung and then I'm going to call this um, function. So the move function basically as it's, you know, as the name suggests, it move, you know, a, a value from the source to a destination. So for example, let's say um, I'm going to put here test 1 and I have here test 2. So if I do this, um, this one, it's basically is going to copy whatever it's in value test 1 is going to copy to test 2. So let's say if I change this to 10, you will see immediately uh, test 2 also has uh, a 10. Uh, if I put 20, same thing. So it's like copying uh, the value of the first the source uh, tag and putting it inside the destination so that's basically simply what the move function does uh, the next one we're gonna see here is the end so an end it's essentially uh, you have um, two values so it's just a logical end if I put here test 3 So basically what it, what it did in here, it's end this uh, plus this, and then it's, uh, it's shown us the value in here. Now if I put uh, in here, let's say a one, you see that the end is uh, zero. Now, uh, a better way of showing this is if we show um, these values in their Boolean um, representation rather than the decimal. We can just simply right click on the tag and go here to the style and then change that to binary rather than decimal. It's going to give us a better understanding of what's going on here. So this is binary and then uh, also I have this in binary. So as you can see here, so obviously 0 and 1 is going to be go, give us 0, 0 and 0 is 0, 1 and 0 and so forth. So we can see in here clearly how the end uh, is working. Now if we do an OR, for example, uh, we can just go simply here and specify an OR. And this time we're going to get the uh, representation uh, of our uh, OR. So we have here 1 instead of 0 because in here uh, in test one we have one, so zero or one, so give us one and so forth. Just gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can see. There we go. So you can see here uh, zero or one, it's one, and then zero or zero is zero, and then you have one or zero, it's one, and so forth. So uh, that's as simple uh, uh, as that. And then in the same way, the the knots uh, and, uh, and the XOR uh, also uh, works. So I hope uh, you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, video uh, and uh, please subscribe and uh, share, like uh, the video so we can continue putting this content together. Again, thank you for, uh, for watching and we'll see you in the next one.